Good morning, everybody. It is another beautiful day. Old Man Winter has decided to uh, fight back a little bit. So today we have some uh, we have some snow, um, which is uh, probably going to make a lot of people a little bit crazy today. Morning, Tanner. Now, if you um if you're on my social media feeds. Then you'll see that I posted a new gra I posted a video this morning um, that I'd done previously called Mistakes. And I am guilty of not doing due, di due diligence. Uh, I shared a while ago a story about Glenn Cunningham, which I've now taken down from my YouTube channel, and which I'm gonna have to edit on my blog because Living for Life 58, more than Alicia, um, on Google Plus, contacted me when I did the Glenn Cunningham video and told me that his distant cousin, Glenn Cunningham, did not have polio. I then started a book um, yesterday, the uh, Unbreakable Story, about... Uh, Louis Zamperini, the um, I mean, the movie's based on same thing, you know. Um, well, Glenn Cunningham was one of Louis's heroes, and in there it talks about Glenn, and in the opening of the book. So, second source, Glenn Cunningham did not have polio. Um, so there's gonna be a bunch of graphics I post on my social media feed today. And correcting that. Now, a couple of the things that I wanted to hit up is that uh, Living for Life 58 also recommended, more than Bell, the book American Myler, The Life and Times of Glenn Cunningham, which is a, a biography about his life, which I will be getting here really shortly so that I can get caught up on the truth. Um what living for life and um, unbreakable talks about Glenn Cunningham is that he was in a explosion and and or fire in um, in his school, which took his brother's life and caused him to have severe burns. So. Um, that is where his injuries come from. Now, Glenn also wrote a book called Never Quit, which Living for Life tells me is can be found, but you have to hunt for it. I'm also going to recommend you pick up that book, too. Because it's written by Glenn Cunningham. So, it's probably going to be more detailed about about different details about his life than um, the life and times of Glenn Cunningham. So, I want to correct a mistake I made. Good morning, Amanda. The information I put out about Glenn Cunningham, the American Miler, is incorrect. He did not have polio. He did have burns, but it was not from a house fire. It was from a school fire. Please go out. And get the book American Myler, The Life and Times of Glenn Cunningham. And if you're interested, get his book, Glenn's book, Never Quit. I'll be picking those up myself as soon as I can get my hands on them. Because I want to make sure I get the right story so I can correct my blog and do a new video talking about Glenn and his um his running in his history. So, guys, thank you for um, watching. Thank you for spending time with me. If you get value from these videos that I do, please like and share them. Please head over to ironwill.net, grab my YouTube link, subscribe to my channel. My goal is to hit 10,000 um, subscribers by the end of the year. And if you make a mistake, correct it. Do your best to rectify it. Not always can you, depending on what the situation is. But a lot of times we can make a difference. 
Go out with my friends and make it a great day. And I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye.